In this example, we're going to look at uh, L-shaped building and how to easily get it to be a gabled L-shaped building. Let's have a look at it. I've done the building already, just to save a bit of time. And what I'm going to do now from here is just to make that end. Control clicking this one as well. And then on the property side, I'm going to tick on gable. Make those two walls gables. The third wall that we want to make a gable is part of this wall. So if you select this plane now and you say gable, all of it becomes a gable. That's not what we want. So I'm just going to undo that quickly. So part of this wall needs to be a gable. Part of it needs to have a slope. What you need to do then is, is we're going to have to split the wall and we have to going to split the surface as well. But where do you do that? That's the question. So the wall, we want to split in line with the inside line of this wall here. The reason for that is, is so that you create a support on this side for your uh, girder truss that's sitting across it. If you don't do that, what's going to happen is, is that that girder truss is going to basically cut on the inside line automatically and then you have to go and modify the heel to get a normal heel again. To alleviate that problem, what you're going to do is you're going to use the split tool then make sure that in your command line you switch to two line and then you can continue and I'm going to zoom in on the inside there stretch a line across that is parallel with that line so stretch it across until you're outside the building and you click again and it's going to ask you what do you want to split we only want to split the wall for the now so we split the wall and then the next thing that we want to do is, is we want to split the surface as well if you zoom in you can see the surface is defined by one surface only we want to split that in two as well but where do you split it now to get the surfaces to automatically solve correctly where we're going to split it is where your trusses heel is going to be or where the outside wall plate line is so again the split tool this time around we're going to click on the outside wall plate line and then again I'm going to stretch across here until I outside the building click again and this time I'm around I'm going to say surface I'll click on that now you can see you've split it so you can see here's a yellow triangle and that one's got its own yellow triangle so on this one at the bottom just press escape make sure you get rid of the split tool I'm going to select that and then you right click and on your context menu you will have the option create gable and you click on that and there we go and you can see now the software has now made just part of that end a gable and then once you've done that fairly easy you're going to click on auto frame and you will see that the software will do that so let's just press F3 and have a look at where our trusses are and what they are. So I'm just in the 3D view, I'm going to press F9 so that you can see when the frame is built. And you can see now that I look at it, you can see if I zoom in on the heel of this truss, then that's fine. And that's what we want. Thanks for watching.